Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have this kick and bass and percussion and I need to create some sort of lead to go with it and I'm thinking like some creepier, something small. So what I'm thinking is, let me just find the key of this track quickly. It's in G. Okay, so let's just create G. So what I want to do is, I'll turn this to 16. So I'm just going to create little small 16th notes. Okay, and the reason why I'm creating small 16th notes instead of one long 16th note is because I wanted to hit every time on a 16th note to change. And I can control the decay amount as well to create these small little hits. If I can control the DK and sustain, I can make small little stabs. Okay, I'm gonna try a little band pass because we want little small sounds like creeper sounds, a lot of resonance. Cool. Definitely want that to keep moving around. Okay, let's get something digital in here. I'm just gonna use a long LFO, maybe four bars, that I can move around. Maybe not that high as well, just somewhere yeah, low. What would be cool is if we choose note on random for the cutoff. Just turn it up. Let's put it in both directions. So note on random just means that every time a note plays, the cutoff will change randomly. And we have different notes here. Maybe not that much because we don't want it to be too bright. I am going to add a bit of reverb on here. Just an external reverb. There we go. do want I want the sounds to be moving around so we can pop this pan on not too far sorry I just wanted to move a bit faster Let's pop a delay on it one over eight dotted ping pong I want to mess with the pitch of it, but I don't want it to be too much. We might want it to go one direction and minus 12, just maybe one octave lower. Just like that. 
speech might be a bit too fast. We can slow it down. When the, I love when the cutoff gets low and then you like hear that deep subby reverb on it. It sounds so cool. I actually don't even want to EQ it because it just sounds so good. But let's just mess around with it. I didn't want to cut the low as well, let's just cut it quickly. And the cool thing is you can like duplicate this as much as you want and you can start messing with the cutoff and you'll get some really cool artifacts that you can just use uh, like for effects and stuff so let's just write some cutoff quickly <laughs> little like artifacts that's coming out from that cutoff it sounds so cool I'm gonna copy this as well overlaps <laughs> now what you can do is you can just take the uh, delay off and the reverb and just bounce it out and then you can just mute that and then you have like the best bits here you can just mess around with them put your own little reverbs on and your own delays <laughs> And that's it. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy this one. This is a really cool sound. I really like the uh, outcome of this. Yeah.